What's up, everybody? We've got a 200-day streak on the line. We're going to play it for uh, Monday, April 15, 2024, here in uh, the New England area. This is Patriots Day, and as a result, we have the Boston Marathon. Yes, indeed. I've run it uh, three times. I did it in 2014, 2015, and 2018. Maybe if I could ever get in shape again, I could return to that race. Um, let's go ahead and do um, today's uh, it's not quite a challenge, but sort of a challenge. We're using Aranya 28's uh, amazing NATO phonetic alphabet. Uh, we're on the letter V. Normally, it would be uh, Victor, but obviously that wouldn't work. I mean, I doubt it would take Victo. In any case, I'm not going to try it because we agreed to do Vicar. Okay, Vicar. We haven't had it yet. It's a pretty cool word. Uh, did we get insanely lucky and get Vicar in one? No, but we get an I, a misplaced I. All right, I remember when this happened again, or previously, I did trick. We're not going to do trick. Uh, blimp, we just had, literally yesterday. Um, it fits perfectly, but we're not going to do that. Um, on the other hand, I did I did ask if shill could have worked. And that would still be a good one to test, wouldn't it? So, yeah, I'm going to go with shill. Uh, did Ark get shill in two? No. Oh. Okay. So I'm not I'm not going to get nervous here. Um, here's why. Because we don't have an ER trap and we don't have one of those horrible, like, double L, golly, dolly, holly, molly, folly type traps. Um, but we are, we're, we're not making any progress here. Um, we're not making any progress. Hmm kind of word could this be? Well, let's try the I here, I guess. That would be the next logical thing. I'm actually thinking about doubling up on the I just to pin the darn thing down. Um... But I can't think of a word that would begin with I and then have the I fourth. And I think that might be a bit silly. Yeah, I think it was a little bit silly. Although it could be index. Uh, let's not play with fire. <laughs> I mean, it actually could, I think, could it be index finger? Um, I'm, think, I'm thinking if I ever did, um, uh, when I put together from time to time a list of the previous words, do I remember an index finger? In, or could, or also, it could be like inbox, your email inbox. Hmm. Well, oh, why not? You only live once. Is the answer to today the word inbox? No, and now I'm probably going to regret all these ridiculous guesses. Now, we still don't have the I pinned, and it could be a funny word ending in I. You never know. All right, now we have to put our game face on. Um, we are looking at, what are we looking at here? Um... Uh, it's not digit um, because the I is not second. I mean, could I, I, I don't know what this word is here. Um, Uh, am I just overlooking something obvious that goes like UIT? Obviously, it's not fruit. Okay, let's actually try it at the end. What word would that be? Uh, 
Um, I don't think it's a plural, like ending in I, I. The only one would have been like radii. It's not fungi. That almost works, but we don't have the N, and I do believe we've had it. I really regret all these terrible guesses that we did up front. Um, it's not pixie. We did have pixie. How about, oh, shoot. I was about to say moxie. I'm not sure if that's how you spell it. Wait, oh, it's not movie? But that's, there we go. But this is sort of the, a better structure. No, we don't have an O. Oh, shoot. Um, I'm going to be honest, guys. I have no idea. How about fetid? Yeah, there we go. That's finally, that That looks like a good guess. Did the art finally get fetid in four? No, oh my gosh, this is just, oh, this is a disaster. I'm actually nervous about failing the thing. I mean, I don't think it's trappy, but I'm very nervous if on the fifth guess there's like a, a transposition of letters. That that could be, that would be a disaster. Uh, what is going on here? Um... So we got our eye locked in. I guess. Uh, let's try the, I guess we'll try the E at the end. What a crazy puzzle today. It's really annoying me. Um, this isn't a Q word, is it? I don't know. It can't be a Q word. Because what on earth would go there, right? Oh. Oh, whoa. No, I don't know what would go there. Um. Ah, oh, man. I, this one got me. Try E up front. Equip. Oh my gosh. That I, I bet it's equip. So it is there there is a Q after all. Oh my gosh. Um I actually feel pretty good about that. Um I'm still very nervous though. Um but um I think it's gonna be equip. Did we get equip finally in five? Yeah, oh that's an evil, evil word. Ouch. But guess what, guys? We have our streak intact. Definitely with my tail between my legs, but look at that. We're at 200, so just about another three weeks, and we'll almost tie the previous maximum streak. Whoa, that was insanely hard. Oh, and it's a good thing that I didn't have like an anagram because peak would be an anagram of that, and that would have been that would have been nasty. P I Q U E. It would have all been in different positions, but you never know how it could have played out. So there you have it. That was a very, very evil, sneaky word. Um uh, Oh my gosh, I usually don't take nine minutes to do a Wordle video. Let's see if I can compensate and go a little faster on strands and connections. Hope you enjoyed the pure agony, guys, as I was obviously not mentally equipped to solve this any faster. I hope you enjoyed, and of course, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the next round of A Wordle! What's up, everybody? We're going to play strands for April 15, 2024. That would be um, typically tax day here in the United States. And we're going to do this and that. This and that. All righty. Okay, another cue. Those are extremely helpful. Quiet. Uh, quiet. Hmm. 
Hmm. Uh, it could go. This and that. Um, so queer. I don't know how that would relate to this and that. I see this quiet. Um, so there's this cue here. I don't know where it's going, but it looks like it would probably be, be something like quiet, possibly queen or queer. And then you've got this, um, uh, regent. Mirror. A mirror. Mirror. Let's give it a shot. Okay, it's not mirror. Wow, this is this is a good one. They made this one a lot harder. Um I see pear. Okay. Um I see error. Okay, good. We're not going to get the spangram, but I'm glad I at least found a word. So error, this and that. Error. Um, I don't, I, I mean, if it's an error, I'm looking for mistake, but I don't see it. Um, why would, what would error have to do with this and that? I think I already, yeah, I already guessed pair. Leap. Pack. I don't get this. Um, quiet. Error, quiet, this and that. Mirror, mirrors, what? This is bizarre, guys. I, I have no idea why these have anything to do with the theme. Um, Uh, what the heck? This is bizarre. Pace. Come. Mirrors. Error. 
quiet. What the heck is going on here, guys? I have no idea what's going on here. Um, poker? Um, there. Ah. Uh. Spam. So, uh, yeah, the spangram. Sadly, we didn't um, decide where the spangram is going to go up top, top to bottom, or left to right because of that P. Uh, that's unfortunate. I know I'm going to over be over time, so I'm, I'm trying to go for a seven here, guys. Believe it or not, um, but I, I don't want to go drastically over. That's not really fair. Um, the problem is, despite error, quiet, and mirrors, I have absolutely no idea what that has to do with this and that. This and that. Pale, Coke, Coma, Scat, Tiger. Rock, rock, giver, um. I have no idea, guys, what the heck is going on here. This is this is insane. I'm getting destroyed on Wordle and um, strands in terms of time, and and performance is pretty terrible too. I have no idea what's going on here. Port. Something pair, because, I mean, oh, I get, could it be something where this, oh, maybe what we're looking for, guys, is this and that, and then smoke and mirrors is a common expression, smoke and mirrors, and we're looking for the, uh, I think I finally figured it out. Okay, good. Finally, finally, finally. Okay, so smoke and mirrors. And um, trial and error, oh, that was evil. Well, now I know what to think about in the future. Peace and something. And, oh, peace and quiet. Smoke and mirrors, trial and error. And um, uh, 
Uh, and then we still have a spangram, right? The spangram, uh, annoyingly, could actually still theoretically go left to right, right to left, or top to bottom. That's kind of annoying. But I think we have to have um, partners. Give and take. Oh, guys, that was, oh. Well, there you have it. You can't blame me. That was tricky. I know some of you might have picked up on that immediately, but that, let that be a reminder that um, they might create kind of like pairs of words like that. That is really, really just incredibly tricky. But I, I have to say, despite being doing terribly, I'm happy I didn't have to use any hints. I know that took time. Damn, that was awful. Um, but that, that actually was satisfying to finally figure out what they were getting at. I think the key is, um, yeah, you have to get lucky and find a um, word on the left that would actually match with the word on the right. Oh, wow, that was very clever. I'm going to put that into my mental Rolodex for future puzzles um, to remember that they could they could do something sneaky like that. I think the closest thing we had to that was the, um, remember that cute animal one where they had the, it was called Parenthood. That was the Spangram, I think. And they had the baby animal on the left and the uh, adult animal on the right. Oh, guys, I got crushed on that. I hope you enjoyed the brutal agony that I went through. And um, nevertheless, it was a good puzzle. We'll take a seven. And I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the next round of Starrands! Guys, we are getting annihilated left and right today. Uh, this is probably going to end up being an insanely long video. I don't know what's going on. I'm just not, I'm just not in the right frame of mind. So let's just go ahead and start connections and pray that we can, um, pray that, pray that we can survive, right? Um, okay. Screen looks fine. Here we go. We've got side freestyle, cosmetic coup, surface placebo, babble improv, um, butterfly, makeup, external, shallow, Domino, crawl, ad lib, and nurse. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Let's pray that we probably have our purple lit up already, which would be insane. But this could be an incredible comeback from my previous two disastrous puzzles. Uh, these are all effects. Okay. Um, placebo effect. That would be, um, let me see. Um, I'll give you guys a little uh, education lesson here. So a placebo effect, that's, I think, if you don't properly remove the placenta, um, after the baby is born. Butterfly effect, I think that's sort of like group psychology. When butterf one butterfly flaps its wings, then um, other butterflies in proximity will also um, flap their wings. Side effect, that's basically something that I experienced last night. We took our daughters out for dinner, and I'm still suffering from the effect of too many side orders. Domino effect is easy. That's just the effect if you order like too many extravaganza pizzas from Domino's Pizza. So there you have it, guys. Um, not only am I probably going to get this correct, but I educated you on all these various types of effects, which you should be familiar with. So give me, please, blank effect. Bam, nailed it. Okay, good. Um, <clears throat> something can be on the surface, it can be shallow, it can be external, and it can be uh, I guess you could say cosmetic. These would all be things that are considered superficial. Yep, I don't see anything else remotely related to that. Absolutely perfect. It's blue. Okay, here we go. Um, crawl, coo, babble, and nurse. These would all things be things that a baby does. Yes! Oh, sweet. And we got the yellow. This just means to make up as you go. Oh, well, the, the word is already make up. How about to, um, uh, to, to speak or do something, uh, without preparation or to invent something. Invent as you go. Boom. Wow. What an unbelievable comeback. You have to admit, guys, <laughs> you must've been thinking Art's going to get annihilated on this one. You know, it's funny. Um, when I saw a uh, butterfly, I have to admit, I was also thinking of the butterfly stroke because uh, my two girls are both swimmers. And that actually could create, I think that could almost create a category because you've got the butterfly stroke, the side stroke, uh, the crawl stroke, I think, and the freestyle. So that actually, that, that's actually pretty evil. Um, but fortunately, I went straight for the effect. And I think that, that basically um, 
locks, you know, unlocks the puzzle for you because you're not going to get stuck with the side stroke or anything like that. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I know this was a bit longer than the others, but I had an incredibly long day this, this morning. Very stressful. Um, I <laughs> basically um, thought I could sleep in and I had a client um, at nine o'clock and they actually called me while I was still at home and said, Art, we're here. And uh, oh, so needless to say, I had to like at the speed of light, get out of bed, shower, get dressed, take the dog out, wolf down some breakfast and get straight to my office to see these people. And well, it wasn't in time, but they were very um, forgiving. And um, so as a result, it just set me back and I'm really stressed from all that. Everything went great nonetheless. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's puzzles. The first two were a disaster. Connections was amazing. I think um, we're going to be posting the results for Connections for the first half of the month within the next day or two. I am happy to say that um, without even doing any of the calculations, I think I'm going to be in the top 10, which is going to be absolutely amazing. Question is, can Art hold it there? That is to be determined. And of course, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the next round of Connections.